Am I willing to be the answer to my own prayers? One of my favorite movements in history is the Moravian Missions Movement because they didn't just pray, although they were very diligent in intercession, but they became the answer to their own prayers. So it was praying, crying out to God. And they're famous for the 100-year prayer meeting where they cried out to God night and day, day and night, two by two, asking God for the nations but then, 1727, they actually sent people out all over the world. Here's the problem. Many of us think of prayer as a category where I just get alone with God, I check the box, and I'm done. But prayer always leads to mission. So the overflow of my prayer life should be action. It should be mission. Imagine if your prayer life wasn't just a category where you got alone with God and then it was over. But if in that place of prayer, it actually led towards transformation in your circle of influence at your school, among your family, at your workplace, in your marriage. And that's what I love about the Moravian Missions Movement. Their famous statement that was said by David Nitschman and Leonard Dober was may the lamb who was slain receive the reward of his suffering. So the context there is they've been praying night and day. They are part of that prayer movement. And then Zinzendorf, his name was Count Nicholas Ludwig von Zinzendorf. And he's this German nobleman who allowed some refugees to live on his land as they were being persecuted. And their desire was to start off just praying for themselves just to start off praying for their community but in the place of prayer crying out to God they started to see that there were people all over the world and they read about the great commission and just just decided to send people out and then these two young men said we'll go to St. Thomas today and they cried out what became the Moravian anthem. May the lamb who was slain receive the reward of his suffering. And listen to the otherness, not me in that prayer, not my needs, not my desires. They actually sold their lives into slavery. Listen to this context, it's crazy. Zinzendorf came and said, there's an opportunity to go reach the slaves in St. Thomas, but the only way to get there is if you're willing to sell your life into slavery. If you're willing to go live among the slaves, and they said, we'll do it. And they actually sold their lives into slavery. The amount that they received back from selling their lives was enough for a one-way boat fare to go work among the slaves, and they did it. And they cried out, may the lamb who was slain so their eyes are on jesus may the lamb jesus who was slain who died may he receive the reward what is the reward he wants revelation 7 9 says there was a great multitude that no one could count from every tongue tribe and nation they had not themselves but jesus and then they activated they gave their lives and i just want to encourage you with your prayer life when you become a person of prayer over time it leads to action it leads to mission a prayer person becomes a mission person it's prayer in action so it's vertical relationship with god but just like these moravians it becomes action and they sold their lives into slavery to go take the gospel and global evangelism you might live something else but it always ends with action so don't let your prayer life just be vertical only get with god hear his voice and then lay down your life for other people get out and put your prayers out in action you become the answer to your own prayers you put feet to your prayers and you'll see because of your prayer life people's lives around you actually be impacted